Hello and welcome back to another Refresh Cartridges video. In this video I'll be showing you how to change the anchor cartridges on your Epson XP3100 printer. Ordinarily, a lot of printers, you'll be able to change the ink cartridges just by opening up the access, the access lid there. Ordinarily after this the carriage would move over more to the middle so you can access the ink cartridges. But with this particular series, you'll need to firstly go into the maintenance settings. So once on this menu, if this isn't what is displayed for you, uh, just to the left of this you have the home button. You can press this and it will bring you straight back to this screen. So what we want to do is use the keypad and go over to the maintenance settings. So you'll go to the cog wheel, select OK, and you'll scroll over to maintenance, and from here you have some more settings, and you'll want to go to the one that says ink cartridge or cartridges replacement, and select OK. Now from here you can now open up your lid, press start, and this will start your carriage moving over to the place you need it to be. To remove these cartridges, I'll just zoom in on the back so you can see, there is just a clip in the back there and you'll want to gently pull this up. It might need a bit of a wiggle, these cartridges can be a, bit, a little bit stiff coming out. And you can just remove the cartridge. You'll want to install a new cartridge. This may or may not have uh, a yellow tab. Most of them do. Sometimes they're orange. Uh, this is the same whether they're remanufactured or original cartridges. You'll then want to reinsert the new cartridge, pop that one back in, and close the cartridge. Once you've closed the lid, You'll need to press the start button and this will indicate it's checking the ink cartridges. When you're using compatible cartridges you may get a screen that says these are not genuine ink cartridges, in which case you'll just have to press OK and it will overwrite that message. Once the cartridges have been accepted, you'll have a screen that says charging please wait. This will take a few seconds, not very long. We'll then have a screen that says complete and then you can just press the home button and come completely off this screen and your printer is ready to use. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.